But one of the biggest obstacles and really one of the biggest headaches for physical silver stackers is this idea of premiums. But what if I told you there was a way that you could get rid of premiums altogether? Now I know, <laughs> this is a bit of a play on words, but if you stick with me, I'll make it make sense. Super Joker here. Okay, so in my last video, I made some predictions about where I believe physical silver is going to go. Some of you guys agreed with that prediction. You believe that it was kind of feasible that silver would go to these valuations that I predicted. And some of you guys vehemently opposed that. You, were, you just was not in, on board with that at all. And I believe it's because of spot price, the real price, and how we value physical silver. What is a prediction? A prediction really is just a best guess. And that's what that was, my best guess, based on some of the information that I've come across, some of the research I've done, and some of the environmental things that I notice. And so, will I be right about that? Who knows, time will tell. But it's really just a prediction to get you guys' attention, to get you thinking about physical silver and where the value is. So anyway, price is what something costs. Doesn't even have to be money. The cost could be anything someone values like effort or time. Your value will determine what you will pay for something. You value it, you'll pay it. Fuel. Nobody wants to pay high prices for fuel. Matter of fact, a lot of us wish we didn't even need fuel for anything. But because we value the freedom that that fuel gives us by letting us get into our vehicles and go where we want to go when we want to go there, then we value it. And so wherever that price goes, we pay it. A car, we value it, so we pay that price. our home, our house. We value it, so we pay that price. And there's lots more things that if the price fluctuates, it doesn't matter. We will pay it because we value it. This is especially true when it comes to physical silver. Now look, you don't have to stack physical silver. You may have concluded that physical silver is the worst thing to get financially involved in. Which, you know, now that I think about it, <laughs> if you're watching this video, that's probably not your conclusion. But anyway, Many of us who stack physical silver have found real value in stacking it. You know, and that's both a good thing and a not so good thing. Because we value physical silver, we'll pay pretty much whatever the cost is to stack it within reasonable limits. You know, there's lots of physical silver products that I feel have just an unreasonable price or cost. So I just don't buy them. But this is where premiums come into effect. And this is why a lot of people look so negatively towards buying physical silver at the prices that are listed. Listen, I've been saying this for years in my videos. And when I'm asked about this on other people's channels, spot price is not the price of physical silver. If we could just get over that one barrier, I think it'll be a lot better towards people stacking physical silver or wanting to stack physical silver. Spot price is not the price of physical silver. It's, it's as simple as that. The price of physical silver is what you're willing to pay for it. That's it. That is the price. That is the real price of physical silver. What you're willing to pay for. It. If you go into a coin store, or you go online and you look at a physical silver price. If you pay that price, that's the price. If the price is too high, then you're not going to pay it. The price is not for you, but that is the price. 
And we get hung up on spot price because of the so-called premiums. Look, if there was no such thing as the concept of premiums in the silver stocking community, and if we could just remove the word completely, you know, I believe stackers wouldn't have such a negative reaction to the cost of physical silver. That's my opinion. You know, many of us have accepted that spot price is simply the market price or the paper price of silver. But we are constantly, and I do the same thing, comparing the price that we pay to the, the spot price that has been set by the market. We're constantly comparing what we pay to that. But I want you to think about something. People spend close to $3 for a bottle of water. In some cases, they spend over $200 for a pair of sneakers. And that's because we have accepted that that's what those things cost. We pay that price with very little protest. In fact, in some cases, the fact that it costs so much is kind of a status thing. It gives it more value because it is expensive or more expensive. And we accept it because the seller has put a price on it based on whatever the demand is and what his profit margin is. And so if a thing sells at a asking price, I mean, if they are asking $200 for a pair of sneakers or $3 for a bottle of water and we pay it, that is the price, period. But the reason why that goes down a lot easier is because there's no set baseline price for sneakers. There's no spot price for water. You know, believe it or not, that is exactly how physical silver is sold. You know, a seller sets a price and buyers pay that price. The only difference is there's this antiquated idea of a premium that we compare the baseline price set by some shadowy organization and so we get caught up with the over and under that. You know, the under if we're selling, the over if we're buying. If there was no such thing as a spot price, there wouldn't be a premium. When you think about it, if there was no such thing as a spot price, just like there's no such thing as a spot price for sneakers, there's no such thing as a spot price for water, if there was no such thing as a spot price for silver, then the idea of premiums would simply go away. If there's no spot price, there's no need for there wouldn't be any such thing as a premium. Now, listen, I know that spot price is important for the market. It's how silver is bought and sold and traded on the market. It's paper silver. It's not real. But spot price does not govern those of us who buy physical silver. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about physical silver. There is no need for spot price in that equation in the silver stacking lexicon. We just simply don't need to think about premiums in a way that discourages us from paying what silver's real value is. And that is what we're willing to pay for, period. Physical silver is gonna be physical silver when everything else is gone. When everything else is boiled away or whatever, physical silver will remain. And our value of that physical silver will still be there. It has been that way since recorded time, since the first people started trading with this beautiful white metal. It has value and that's not gonna change. And that ounce of silver is gonna be worth what we say it's worth, what we're willing to buy it for, what we're willing to sell it for. So don't get caught up in spot price. You know, I believe that's a manipulation. You know, lots of things that we buy every day that are consumed away almost as soon as we purchase them. And if you just thought about it, just thought about the cost that you pay for some of these things that are gone as soon as you buy them, as soon as you exchange cash for them, and you compare that to what an ounce of silver costs you, you may quickly realize that the idea of premiums being a hindrance to stacking physical silver is misplaced. The movement of physical silver is what we determine it is. You know, spot price is a fantasy. It's for paper trading. That's it. Real price of silver is what people pay for it. 
I think the term premium should be removed from our vocabulary. You know, stack that silver because wherever silver goes, if you don't have it, you can't take advantage of that movement. Anyway, just want to come on the mic and give you guys that little tidbit. Like I said, I'm working on a project that I think you guys are going to find very interesting. I'm excited about it. I'll share that with you. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Leave it in the comments what you think. Am I on the mark? Am I off the mark? Is there something you'd like me to talk about? Is there a subject you'd like me to research and make a video about it? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see if I can do that. Keep stacking. Peace.